Nifedipine. Nifedipine is a medication often prescribed to manage high blood pressure and angina, but how exactly does it work? And what should you be aware of when using it? In this video, we'll dive into everything you need to know about nifedipine. Nifedipine is a calcium channel blocker used to treat hypertension, high blood pressure, and angina chest pain. It works by relaxing the blood vessels, allowing blood to flow more easily, which helps lower blood pressure and reduce the heart's workload. Mechanism of Action Calcium Channel Blockade Nifedipine blocks the calcium channels in the smooth muscle cells of the heart and blood vessels. This inhibition of calcium entry prevents muscle contraction, causing the blood vessels to relax and widen vasodilation. This leads to lower blood pressure and improved blood flow to the heart, helping to prevent chest pain and angina. Vasodilation By dilating the blood vessels, nifedipine reduces the workload of the heart and improves oxygen supply to the heart muscle, making it effective in managing conditions like hypertension and angina. Indications or uses Hypertension, high blood pressure It's used to lower high blood pressure, reducing the risk of heart attacks, strokes, and kidney damage. Angina, chest pain it is effective in preventing angina attacks by relaxing the coronary arteries and improving blood flow to the heart. Raynaud's Phenomenon Nifedipine is sometimes prescribed for Raynaud's disease, a condition where blood flow to fingers and toes is restricted, causing them to turn white or blue. Preterm Labor Occasionally used off-label to relax uterine contractions in preterm labor under strict medical supervision. Side Effects Common Side Effects Swelling edema in the ankles or feet. Headache or dizziness. Flushing or a warm feeling in the face. Gum swelling or gingival hyperplasia. Less common side effects. Nausea or upset stomach. Fatigue or weakness. Serious side effects, rare. Severe hypotension. Dangerously low blood pressure. Heart palpitations or irregular heartbeat. Liver problems, including jaundice or dark urine. Severe allergic reactions such as rash, itching, or difficulty breathing. Drug and food interactions. Drug interactions. Beta blockers, e.g. metaprolol combining nifedipine with beta blockers can exaggerate the blood pressure lowering effect, increasing the risk of hypotension. Cimetidine, H2 blockers, or grapefruit juice. These can increase nifedipine levels in the blood, raising the risk of side effects like dizziness and low blood pressure. Digoxin, Nifedipine may increase digoxin levels, raising the risk of toxicity. Lithium. Nifedipine can increase lithium levels, potentially causing lithium toxicity. Food interactions. Grapefruit juice. Avoid drinking grapefruit juice as it can increase nifedipine levels in the bloodstream, raising the risk of side effects. High fat meals. Taking nifedipine with fatty foods can increase its absorption, potentially enhancing its effects. Contraindications. Absolute contraindications. Severe hypotension, low blood pressure. Heart failure, especially acute. Allergy to nifedipine. Relative contraindications. Liver disease. Nifedipine is metabolized by the liver, so it should be used cautiously in individuals with liver problems. Pregnancy and breastfeeding. Nifedipine is considered safe in pregnancy, but only under the guidance of a doctor, particularly in the second and third trimesters. It is excreted in breast milk, so caution is advised while breastfeeding. Patient advice? Before taking the fetopine, tell your doctor if you have a history of heart disease, low blood pressure, or liver problems. Inform your healthcare provider about any other medications you are taking, particularly blood pressure medications, heart medications, or anti-seizure drugs. While taking the fetopine, monitor blood pressure regularly, especially in the early stages of treatment. Avoid grapefruit juice. Take it as prescribed. Managing side effects. If you experience swelling in your ankles or feet, headaches, or dizziness, inform your doctor as dose adjustments may be necessary. Rise slowly from a seated or lying position to prevent dizziness due to low blood pressure. Have you ever been prescribed nifedipine for high blood pressure or angina? Or do you have any questions about how it works? Drop your thoughts and questions in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for more health insights and medication explanations. Let's keep the conversation going.